Hello my friends. In the previous video, we tackled how to do customization and theming part inside Material UI. What we are going to do right now is to work with the navbar as we see here for the final project. As you can see, when I click on any of the tabs, I don't see any ripple effect. But what I can see is the under, under each um, tab, we see some scroll bar. When I click on it, it indicates the tabs I clicked on. So this is what we are going to tackle in this lesson. So let's get started. So let's head over to Material UI website and search for tabs. Okay. And to be able to know the kind of prop you need to pass inside of each component, go to the component, for example, tabs, and then scroll down and under APIs, you see what is called tabs. All right. And under the API, we see the props that it need. We have action, area, label, centered, other stuff. So depending on how you want it, you can customize it. And what you are going to work on is the indicator, color, and the unchange function. Because as you can see, when I click on it, it's like I'm changing the kind of state in my application. So we're going to make use of this um, prop and these two prop to have that functionality inside our application. So let's get started. Since we are going to manage states, we have to import use states inside our navbar component. So in here, let me try if I can have the auto import. It doesn't work for me. So let me import it here as use state. All right. And for this, let's grab the state and the function to update the state. So use states. Let me label the first one as a value and then set value. And then let's give it a default of zero. All right. So what is going to work is that when you pass a value into the tab, okay, the first one that you click is what is going to indicate. So before you can have that effect, let's pass in a prop to the tab's parent component, this one. But before you move on, guys, I made a little mistake here, but we can fix it now. What we need to know is that you have to wrap only one tab's parent component. And in there, you wrap all the tab inside. But I have multiple tabs here, tabs here, tabs here, tabs here. So let me delete, let me cut this one here. Let me even delete all my tabs here. From here, from here. I want to wrap all the tabs inside tab. That's what I'm going to do now. I made mistake when I was doing at the first time. All right, so let me remove all the tabs here. And then inside, let's wrap all the tab inside tabs component. Like so, cut the closing. And then at the end of the tabs, let's place it here. Save it. We have the same feel as we have right now. All right. So before that, when you pass in a value argument here called value, okay, and then we say the value should be zero. What it means is that by default, it will select the first one. So when you pass in one, for example, it will select the second index of that. But when you click anything, it doesn't change. So you have to do it programmatically to change the state, the value when I click. So it's selected by the index of each. If you want to change the color of this um, indicator, we can pass in one prop called indicator color. Okay. And if you want it to be primary color, if you, if you don't want to see it, you can remove it as that because the background is dark blue and an indicator is black, so you cannot see it there. So if you make it secondary color, 
and you can see that we have that effect over there as you can see the final one too as you can see that okay so next is we have to do it programmatically to change when I click on any of the tabs so let create a function here called handle click tab so const let me label this one handle click tab equal to my arrow function and in here I want to grab the second index so I'll pass in the first one my event and then the next one will be the my new value okay when I click on it so in here I can say set value then I pass in my new value as that so I have to pass in an on click function to my tabs parent so here instead of hard coded it let me pass in the value for my use state all right so next I want to have a function when I trigger it to change this one so let me pass in on click on click on my tabs sorry it's on change rather I have to change it so it's on change the prop is on change according to material UI is on change and then I pass in my handle click tab as that let's go back to application when I click on it as you can see it changes the tabs as I scroll all right good so next is when I click on it tab, you see that you have ripple effect I don't want that if you want that you can leave it but you can pass in one prop to do away with that report and the prop is called disable report so it will be on each children so here let's say disable report the first one's courses let's click on that as you can see it doesn't show me any ripple effect so let me copy all the ripple onto each tab like that save it go back application click on it as you can see you don't have that report effect right so guys that is how we pass in prop and change some default style inside our application the next lesson we work on the icons as for the final project